the hell? The game just crashed on me. Wow. All right. Hand over your valuables or I'll gut How about you hand me over that armor, buddy, huh? I'm not oh, going to boy. ask again. Well, actually, uh, this is an interesting shtick about the thieves. You cannot actually persuade them to uh, leave you alone. It's like a dummied out of the game or not implemented properly. Anyway, let's hope I can survive this because uh, <laughs> I've just done a lot of grinding and I don't want to have to do it over again because the game did crash on me once. Yeah. Better freeze to death. As soon as you attack them, though, they unfreeze. Whew. Okay. Glass armor get. And new glass gauntlets, too. Okay, so we've been to Kynes Grove before, but we never visited the mine of that place. That mine is where you get most of your, um, what's it called? Uh, Malachite. Hmm, achievement unlocked, master. Because I'm level 50 now. Wow, would you look this, at the stats of the ghost blade? Does three points of extra damage, ignoring armor. That's nothing. I'm seriously concerned just selling it right now. Just, well, whatever. I guess it's a unique business. item, but. Should be like 30 extra points of damage, if anything. I work for Bellathor at the general. Uh. I finally found you. I want to join the College of Winterhold, but I need help with my war. Yeah, this is a very rare uh, random spawn. Like, I've played the game multiple times. This is like the only the second time I've ever seen the randomly generated student right here. And I'm sure I can teach you. Really? Great. Okay, so first, you raise your ward and I'll throw a little... Yeah, so basically, y'all remember the very first test you had to do when you first uh, joined the College of Winter? Oh, well, this is it. Bella, that way I can see the right way to do things. Get your ward. Well, hey, that's not something you see every day. Spells Put your ward up so I can study it. That's it. I think I see what I was doing wrong. Right? That should do it. I think I'm ready to try the college again. Thanks. Hey, you mix potions. Yeah, right? that's it. You don't even get a reward for helping the student. It's just something you can do if you want. Got some good You know, since Kodlak's funeral, the Skyforge feels more awake. It's always been said that the souls of the heroes of old are what gives Skyforge steel and strength. But I think the Forge knows the greatness of Kodlak's soul. I can't really explain, but it feels like it's young. I'll wager it could now forge metal the likes of which hasn't been seen since eras long forgotten. I'm eager to try. Pretty sure he's just bullshitting you right here. You can't create anything new except like Skyforge Steel or something like that. Um, yeah, anyway. For those wondering, I'm doing a lot of grinding right now. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so you can create Draugr armor. Uh, Daedric armor, apparently. <laughs> ancient Nord armor, Ancient Nord boots, Ancient Nord long and Ancient Nord stuff in this Daedric for some reason. And that's pretty much it. That's all the unique stuff you can create in the Skyforge now. Maybe a little other, oh, few other things, but as far as I know, that's it. Incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding. No matter what okay, so I said last video I would do Rift in. Well, I want to do grinding and there's something I have to show right here because I'm not going to be able to show it at any other time. What else is there to be learned about Conjuration Magic? That option becomes available when you have more than 90 in, uh, you know, in Conjuration scale. There are spells yet to be learned. Powerful spells that can more closely and more permanently bind creatures to your will. But there are risks. There are always risks. This is one of the easier mastery quests. 
because uh, all you have to do is uh, I will teach you summon a Dramora uh, in the college grounds, which is not very far. Like, uh, the longer uh, quests, I would say, are, um, well, the Destruction Mastery quest, that's for sure. Once I have a sigil stone, I shall inscribe the spells that you seek. Mm hmm Sounds easy enough. If only that were Pretty sure it is easy. Summoning an unbound Dremora is not like other conjuration spells. It will not simply do your bidding. You must first prove you are in control. Here is the spell you need. Go to the top of the Hall of Attainment. I have prepared a place for you there. Mm -hmm. Conjuration Ritual Spell. Okay, so that's what it's called. I thought it was Mastery. So Destruction Ritual Spell, Illusion Ritual Spell, all that kind of stuff. The toughest one is either Destruction or Alteration. It, it kind of depends. Alteration, actually, I would say, is more annoying because uh, you need to find a dragon and a dagger to get that to work. All right, right here, still top of the Hall of Attainment. You should have the spell Summon Unbound Dremora right here. Prepare to cast it. Or just cast it, really. But be careful. Don't want to get one shot at a Dremora now, do you? You will... I summoned you. I control you now. Yeah, I could say... Uh, yes. Yeah, keep your distance. Don't like how this is going. Keep your distance. This is much easier in uh, Requiem, I'm gonna say that much. Damn it. Well, it didn't kill me. But now I can't actually fight the Dromora. Should have summoned something to take care of it. Now I have to go back up. Uh, the hell? Didn't know it would follow me, but I guess that's fine. As long as it doesn't kill anyone. Hmm. Well, considering you can do it this way by, by having the all other college members help you, uh, this is not difficult at all. Much easier than I expected, in fact. There we go. But we have to defeat. The game crashed. God damn it! Okay, so last time I underestimated the uh, Unbound Dremora. This time I'm actually gonna prepare myself by summoning a Dremora Lord. Taking the Unbound Dremora on. Hopefully this will work. Oh, uh, this time he's got a two-handed weapon. Uh, what? Seriously? A dragon? I've had too many interruptions. God damn it. And unfortunately, the Jamor Lord is not going to be very useful. Well, fortunately, the Unbound Jamor is not actually going to attack you until you've completed your uh, conversation with it. Also, this is a nation dragon. It's gonna take a while to defeat it. There we go. What an annoying distraction. Now, more lord, then I'm bound for more. And hopefully, no more distractions. I was hoping that I would actually go into Rift and uh, 
in the second half of this video, but that never happened, and what the hell? Why isn't this working? Am I too close? Am I doing something wrong? What the hell happened to the quest? I probably did something wrong because of the distraction, or... Uh, no, it is telling me that I'm supposed to be here. Maybe I'm supposed to just stand here. Like, I did it before. Just, I got interrupted, which I think is what the... Uh, is uh, screwing things up now. God damn it. Well, I have to load uh, another save now. Okay, I'm at the save where the Dromora was attacking inside the Hall of Attainment now. Before, or yeah, before I fought the dragon. So that was a waste of time. Or the dragon's gonna appear as I go outside and then I'll have it to fight it there. But of course, if it crashes when I fight the Dromora here, then I don't even know if I can complete the ritual, uh, the ritual spell or quest anymore. Even now, I don't remember what it was supposed to be called. Yeah, Conjuration Ritual Spell. That's so strange when I think about it. Okay, it did not crash. Now, I imagine a dragon's gonna attack about me about uh, right now or something. Let's wait a second anyway, just in case. Okay. Let's continue. I subdued the Dramora once, I have to subdue it twi another time <laughs> to actually complete the quest. And he's not gonna actually talk to me immediately this time, so... Go ahead and see. Admit that I control you. Not before my Dramora Lord takes care of you! Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the shtick of this entire spell, ritual, spell, quest. Defeat a Dramora twice. Hmm. I don't think you can do a kill move on these guys, because they always get unsummoned as you defeat them. Anyway. Finally, summon him and one last time, and we get our sigil stone. Or no, we, we have to tell it that we, that we need a sigil stone. It's gonna go get it, and then we summon it one final time. I, am not yours to toy with. I can do this all day. Sigil stone, please. Yes, my lord. Summon me again, and I shall have your stone. Mm -hmm. Your sigil stone. Don't know why he's not looking at me. I guess they were expecting me to do this quest from here. <laughs> Well, whatever. Okay, now we have to deliver the stone to finish. I want to know where he is. Uh, well, I guess I'm just in here. Also, the Jamor is going to stay here until you finish the quest. Or, no, I think it only stays uh, out in the open for 60 seconds. Like when you don't talk to it or something. I, I, I have no idea. Just as long as you don't glitch the quest by being interrupted by a dragon just as you first summon it. That was frustrating. What a waste of time. Sigil stone. There are few places. Mine? Oh no. The stone is yours. I simply need to borrow it for a moment. Now, let's see what there is to see. Now he's going back to sleep, but no, we have to... <coughs> we just have to talk to him again. That incident in Morthal was just a... The people of Skyrim... So, what did you see? I have the knowledge I need. And so you may have your stone back. And also, 
Please, take this. You have done well. Flame thrall added. That's your mastery spell. Your your free mastery spell for completing the ritual spell quest. So flame thralls are. They're not good. Oh wait, no. Summon a flame Athronach permanently. Okay, so that's the difference. Compared to summon a flame Athronach for only 120 seconds. Okay, um to be honest, it's still not that good. <laughs> because like it's not that hard to just keep summoning a flame astronach over and over and over now, is it? Should you ever fall victim to spell? I do believe Finnis also starts selling mastery spell books now. Um yeah, Frost Thrall and Storm Thrall. Those are the other uh, mastery spells that you can get. I don't need them. Also, I think there's Dead Thrall. Yeah, Dead Thrall. But yeah, those are those are all boring spells. Not that great. Anyway, with the Sigil Stone, you can also go down to the mid end to the Atronach Forge and place the stone onto it. Or it's base. It's, there's a place where you put this the sigil stone however i don't remember any of their recipes besides like the one that's uh, directly told to you so i won't be doing any summonings just yet just pointing out that the sigil stone goes right here okay and you put stuff into the offering box it has to be a very precise recipe and then you activate the pull bar and whatever if you did things right you'll get something something that you may want but I don't want anything right now, so no purpose for me to go there and do anything at all. Hmm. Okay, I guess the Dremor only uh, disappears after uh, the cell uh, resets. Fair enough. Like, it doesn't really matter. Telekinesis, you want this. And I guess we'll take water breathing as well. Um, oh, detect life too. Uh, hold on a moment. All right, here we go. So the reason why you want telekinesis is because it's the easiest way to train uh, uh, alteration. Far and away the easiest way. It's quite expensive to cast it, but... If you use it on something and then fast travel, I believe it will, like, you'll, <coughs> you'll master alteration by the time you're done fast traveling. So, let's see. We're gonna drop Daughter of the Nibbin. Don't know why I'm still keeping that book, to be honest. We're gonna pick it up like this. And then we're gonna fast travel to, let's say, Fort Greenwall. Uh, it didn't work. Well, even so, telekinesis is very effective at uh, training your alteration despite that. Just, if I had been holding on to the object regardless, I think it might have worked. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I was supposed to pick it up and hold it in the air and then cast telekinesis. Hmm. Oh, well. It doesn't matter that much. I don't need to master alteration anytime soon anyway. There's not much purpose for telekinesis beyond that, beyond like it training your uh, uh, skill very quickly. There is something from the Dragonborn DLC that makes it super duper powerful though. Basically there's an ability that uh, was added that allows you to cast spells for free for like 60 seconds. But the thing is that if you never let go of, uh, like if you never stop casting telekinesis after casting it at uh, zero, Magic up per second, then it will never cost you anything, even after the effect wears off. The the one that uh, keeps all spells uh, from casting costing anything. But that's fun. Oh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing a Dragonborn DLC anytime soon, so we're not going to be able to do that exploit until like 50 videos from now, maybe. I'm still considering doing the Dragonborn DLC before the Dawn Guard DLC. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. For now, let's go to Riften. Once and for all.
And here comes the dragon. Just before I reach Riften. Isn't that fun? Hey, you big jerk. What the hell do you think you're doing? Actually, this dragon is not uh, an enemy. So unless I hit it, it will not actually try to attack me. Hmm. Even if I do hit it, it won't try to attack me. Yeah, this happens occasionally. A dragon's gonna come over, but it won't bother attacking you. I don't know if this was intentional or not. It definitely feels weird and is quite annoying when you want the dragon's soul. But uh, I think it was intentional. Just as a way to warn you that uh, danger can come from any direction at any time. Or maybe the dragon was just uh, scouting the area, you know? Whatever the case, it's not that bad. Just an annoying tease, to be sure. Finally, Rift and Stables discovered. Now I need to talk to an NPC in this little farm over here to prep myself for a quest I will have to do later in Riften. Airship farm. Um. Yeah, go inside. You. Who in the name of Azura are you? A few days ago, some thieves from Riften broke in here and stole it. Can you imagine? It's the only thing of value we had. If you have the guts to head into the Ratway and get my bow back, I'll pay you what I'll I can. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It'll be nice to have it back. Locked me. The rat is somewhere under Vidal. God, I'm not hell. Troll. Um, I should probably uh, freeze this enemy. Yeah, before he actually kills uh, any of these NPCs that need to stay alive. For me to actually complete that uh, mini quest. Yeah, that was a weird uh, random troll for it to just appear out of nowhere right there. Hope that doesn't happen too often. Okay, there's some horses right over here. You can steal, well, you'll steal them if you try to ride them right now. However, both rig horse crusher right here. Got horses that need shoeing, so make it quick. How did you came to be known as horse crusher? Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. And one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt broke his back in two haven't ridden since hmm ah i'm not afraid of anything out here not me i'm no weakling in fact i bet i got the yep. strongest so you can all of Sky have a little brawl with this guy oh sounds like i've got a challenger tell you what how about a friendly wager just between us the entire purse of septums is 100 person. gold you match the bet and we fight until one of us gives in all right. Remember, this is a clean. I think fight. it's 100 gold. No weapons, no tricks. Been a long time since I've done this in vanilla. Fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, 100 gold. You're made of. It's always 100 gold. I don't believe it. I guess you were right. Not at all. It's good to be put. Okay, so I finally beaten now. him. I guess I shouldn't boast so much. It gets, expensive. Mm -hmm. it gets expensive. However, now he's our friend, which means we can ride these horses whenever we want. We don't have to pay for them at all. That's super <laughs> cheap and broken. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, in fact. Um, 
Yeah, I might actually ride those horses uh, out of town every now and then just because there's some areas I have to go around here. So yeah, that's a little trick you can do. There's also another way to befriend uh, the person who takes care of the horses right here by helping another NPC inside Riften. So yeah, those two horses right there are some of the easiest horses to get, Hold so to speak. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? For the privilege. Entering the city. This is obviously what a shakedown. You will always successfully persuade this Riften guard, no matter I what. Everyone to hear you. I'll let you in. Just let me unlock like it's it's intentional that way. You can also just pay them or leave if you want, but uh, if you just want to enter the city, well, it's just a matter of saying persuade, and you'll do it no matter what. The annoying thing, though, is that if you try to enter Riften from any other door, any other gate. They won't let you. That's annoying. Because the very first time I played this game, I was trying to enter Riften from the other gate, and they wouldn't let me in for some reason. And it's just because they want you to go through that NPC's uh, conversation line anyway. Um, so we got Mjol right over here, and uh, what's his name right over here? We're going to have to talk to both of those NPCs. One snap of her fingers, and you could end up in Riften jail. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just I'm gonna have to lie to Mjol. She's supposed to be the, the good the side or good moral uh, compass <laughs> of Riften. But like I'm gonna have to lie to her about the Riften Steve's Guild because I'm definitely gonna join them. I absolutely have to. Of course, in my own games, I never join them because I don't like him. But uh, right here, she's gonna ask you. What do you think? And if you answer the way she wants you to answer, you can become her friend real quick. What do you think? I agree completely. But the thing is, I really am going to join them, so I should be saying this. But I want her to be my friend because I she has a quest of her own that I do want to complete. She's also one of the more uh, less shallow NPCs, let's say. However, she likes to talk a lot if you take her as a follower. Also, she's immortal. Don't, not sure why. <coughs> I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Vellenwood, elsewhere to Morrowind, and all points in between. Many years ago, I lost my Grim blade Sever. in Sever. Yeah. With it's an just a glass uh, two-handed weapon, I believe. That I was wasting my with an enchantment, of course. Away. You and I are alike. We seek challenge and great fortune. But for me... That's where the similarities end. You see, Riften is my great beast to be slain. And my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. Nicely said. Safe travel. At some point we'll be able to do her Never quest. Also, Aaron right here, he always so follows Mjo Because he saved her life and he's uh, uh, attached to her. Not, not in love, just like best friends forever, something like that. However, Aaron can die, and I don't recommend doing that. I think that screws up Njal's uh, AI or something. Anyway, let's talk to this guy, Maul. Know you. you and Riften looking for trouble? Uh, what's it to you? Don't say something you'll regret. I have not. The thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket. Yeah, the Blackbriars. Maven is uh, one of the most hated NPCs in the entirety of the game. Just because she's unrelentingly evil and you can't uh, do anything about it. In fact, you have to ally yourself with her if you join the Thieves Guild. Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? Yeah, he can tell you a bunch of stuff uh, here. I'm just gonna ask him this. Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Yes, you have to take it up with, with them and you'll find Vex. Them. Unfortunately, she won't uh, help you unless you join the Thieves you Guild. So, uh, yeah, this is one particular quest I never really finished. The one with the unusual gems. What I do is I download a mod that says uh, that allows you to sell the unusual gems to uh, the Khajiit merchants. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. Let's do but one more thing right here. You said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I and I'm going to rush through this little conversation right here, by the way. Because Sapphire is going to enter this place and I don't want her to. What? Are you 
you telling me you or I, I, I'm not. I'm fine with her entering that place, but I want to talk to her before she enters it, because otherwise I have to go through morning, an extra screen, and that's bothersome. I owe a great mm -hmm. deal of money. Mm -hmm. I was able to. Mm -hmm. I borrowed. Mm -hmm. now, I'll help you. I'll help you. You will. Oh, that's the Sapphire. Sapphire. Be careful. Yeah. Sapphire. I knew that. Look, this is really simple. All right. Yep. All right. Managed to persuade. I guess I made. A Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. Yep. I hope we bump into each other again. So basically, if you, you weren't Sapphire. fast enough, you'd have to go into the inn, come back out, go outside to the stables. And then just to talk to our DT2 NPCs. But if you're quick enough, you can just do it in this Actually, one cell. It? I don't know what to say. Look, it does so much more fun to me. This, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might well, much more convenient, like really. Me, All you get for your trouble also is a uh, prolonged invisibility. Ah, but of course, you also get the ability to ride those horses outside for free. That too. But you can get that from, you can get that from brawling the person taking care of the horses as well. Oh, finally to Rift in. We can start the Thieves Guild questline right now, but uh, we're actually going to go into the uh, Jarl's house right over here. Miss Bell Keep. 